In my last video, I talked about machine learning and the concept of very basic concepts of machine learning. In when I discussed about machine learning, one thing I talked about is ChatGPT and large language model. Now, ChatGPT is something I'm pretty sure by now most of the people are using. And ChatGPT is nothing but a very large language model which is trained by a company called OpenAI based on GPT and the full form of GPT is Generative Pre-trained Transformer. So it is trained based on GPT architecture. It is designed to generate natural language responses to a different type of questions and prompts. A large language model, which I briefly talked about in my last video, is a type of AI model or artificial intelligent model that has been trained on massive, massive volume of text data. And this can be websites and articles. For example, ChatGPT is trained on the entire internet, the content of entire internet, which means all the blog posts and websites out there. These models are designed to generate natural language text that is contextually very appropriate for a given input. Inputs in large language model are usually called as prompt. So a lot of time these days you'll be hearing about prompt engineering. Prompt engineering is nothing but how you create a prompt for a large language model to respond appropriately. Now, if you have not used ChatGPT, you can either sign into ChatGPT or you can use ChatGPT for free in the Bing, uh, which comes with the Microsoft Edge browser. There's a Bing button here. Once you click on that, it comes with a chat prompt, which is nothing but behind the scene user chat GPT. So here I gave it a prompt, how to write to a console using C sharp. And it generated this response to write a console using C sharp, you can do this, this, this. So now if we have to generate the same response using programming, how we are going to do that? And that is what I am going to talk today. So for using open API, you need to sign it to the open API platform. Once you sign it to OpenAPI platform, you can create an API key in the OpenAPI platform. And once you create the API key, you can use the ChatGPT APIs for different prompt and getting responses. And here they have different use cases and guides on how to create the chat GPT prompts. Now, most of the example here are using Python, but behind the scene, all this code uses OpenAI's API. So everything behind the scene calls an API. And that is why we will be able to use our .NET code to interact with OpenAI. So for doing that, what we can do is, one thing is we can use standard HTTP client. But there is a NuGet package which is available, which already does all the work we need to do. And this is called OpenAI. This is the name, it's called OpenAI. It's at 1.7.2 version and it supports .NET standard version 2.0, which means it's going to run with .NET Core, which is .NET 6, 7, or any of these core version or .NET 4.x versions as well. And as the description says, it's a simple c -sharp .NET library for OpenAI's ChatGPT3 API, as well as ChatGPT, GPT4, DALI, etc. So we are going to start with a very, very simple program. And over the next few weeks, we'll build on top of it. So for using it first, we have to add the namespace. And the namespace for this one is OpenAI underscore API. That's the namespace we will be using. So first what we have to do is we have to authenticate with OpenAI using our API key. So for that, first what I'll do is I'll create a object called OpenAI is equal to new of OpenAI API. So this is the class we are going to use. This is the entry point 
to the open ai api handling authentication access so and this one we can pass a new instance of api authentication or we can just pass the api key so if we have to do that we can do new api authentication and here we need to pass the api key so i have already kept the api key in the environment variable so i can do environment dot get environment variable and the name of the environment variable is open ai underscore api underscore key now you can keep whatever name you are comfortable with i'm using this name and then after we do that now we technically authenticated with open ai after we have authenticated now what is our next goal for this example i want to create a chat i want to pass the same prompt that i did in here which is how to write to console using c sharp so this is the conversation that i want to have with the open ai large language model chat gpt so for that first i am going to create a conversation so for that what i can do is i can say var conversation conversation is equal to open ai dot and i'm going to use the chat so you can see that the chat property is text generation in the form of chat message this interacts with the chat gpt api so this is what we want and then we'll do dot create conversation is what we want to use so i'm going to use this so this is going to give me a chat conversation after i get the conversation then i can start using the chat so for that there are multiple things we can use for example append example chatbot output this is if you want to append an example output and system message user input there are a bunch of options for this example given we are trying a very simple extremely simple use case is we are giving a prompt which is a very single simple prompt is write a code to print into console in c sharp so for that we are just going to use the append user input it creates an appends a uh, chat message to the chat history so that you know this message can be interpreted by the chat gpt and provide a response to us so we're just going to use that and i'm going to paste the message how to write to console using c sharp and after that i'm going to now ask the chat gpt to give me a response so for that i'm again going to use the conversation and then i'm going to say get response from chatbot and i'll just use the async method and i will await here and after i get the response i'm just going to write the response into the console that's all i'm going to do and i'm going to run this application so this is the moment of truth and once i run the application the request has been sent to the server the chat gpt is processing and i should get back a response with yep so i got back few responses so it says here is an example using system and then public static void main console dot right line hello world when you run this program it will output hello world in the console you can also use console dot write to write into the console without adding a new line character at the end and then it shows an example where it did console dot write hello comma and then a space and then control dot write hello world which will also output hello comma space world without a new line character in between so as you can see just using a very simple method append user prompt which is provided by this particular NuGet package and i want to give a shout out to the team who has been working on this package which is 
uh, Mr. Roger and rest of the open source community. I would suggest everyone to go and give a star to this particular GitHub repo because this is going to be extremely helpful for us .NET developer to use C-sharp code and interact with ChatGPT and build various programs. The opportunities are endless. So this is, as you can see, only with five, six lines of code, we are able to send a request to ChatGPT and get a very well-formed response back, whatever we'll get from the ChatGPT UI prompt. So this is at a high level how we can start with it. There are a lot of other options that we have to explore. This is just touching the water and filling it. I'm going to go through rest of the feature of this particular NuGet package, which internally is using the OpenAI's APIs so that we can go through and understand what are the different prompts and setups we can do with this NuGet package and what are the different types of response we are going to get out of it. That is all I wanted to cover for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel and you think you are getting value out of this channel, please subscribe to the channel. And thanks so much for watching this video.